Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. Today is the last video of the three video series for art, hashtag art journal habit 2018. This is my first time doing it and I have to say that towards the end I lost enthusiasm <laughs> for the project. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the last few got a little lame. All right, so let's see, where are we here? Um, as you can see, my book is um, a little sick. I broke the spine and tried to fix it, and nothing I've done is fix it, so I'm going to have to come up with a plan B because I hate that this work would be stored in something that looked like this. This is just pitiful. <laughs> All right, so we're starting with the word solar. Uh, that's day 22. And... How could I not do something with doodles? I mean, come on, you guys know. Um, so I drew suns, a bunch of suns, and the the um, the saying right here, the sentiment is, keep your face toward the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you. So I tried to do um, gray watercolor around this um, to mimic shadowing, shadows. So that's day 22. Day 23 is gold. So, you know, I'm still working on that foiling thing. <laughs> so I took the glue that, um, the foiling glue, and wrote the word gold all these times, and then took the foil and put it over the words. And some of them took about five or six tries to cover up the whole thing because there were uh, divots where the glue wasn't as thick as um, it needed to be, and so it like it looks like it looks like craters on the moon. <laughs> so the sentiment here is all that glitters is not arrow down gold. So I put the word silver up here, and somehow I lost part of my S there. But it was fun, and I am I really am trying to figure out this this um, foil thing. It's been fun, messy but fun. All right, the next one is country. So when I did this one, I did a collage, and I really regret putting these huge, um, these things here. But if you peel them off, I'm going to lose the pictures, so I left them. But um, these were all scenes that in my, my pictures that I consider to be country. The woman with the little hat, with the little bonnet on, the elk, um, a saloon front, Let's see, this is chickens and a chicken ha chicken coop. This is an old photo of um, kitchen workers from a ranch. More elk. Uh, the people on a cattle drive right here. And then there's a couple. And then a mason jar. Let's see. And this one is the word note. Um... I have this, these great, uh, what do you call them, post-it notes that I found years ago at a Walmart that look like envelopes. They're shaped long ways for two, three sections of an envelope, the, the back, the front, and then the fold-down flap. And so you fold the post-it note, and it makes an authentic-looking envelope, and it has the little blue stamp on it, and then I took um, rubber stamps and and stickers and you know did the postage marks on them this is part of a this is a typewriter this is part, a paper clip that came out of a, a stamp set this is a real post-it note that has my name on it and there's another one with my name on it typewriters and then I love these things they <laughs> push pins from a stamp set I just thought they were cute so I did it in kind of the red, white, and blue thing to go along with the red, white, and blue from the envelope. I really like this page. All right, let's see what the next one is. Oh, the next one is clock. This did not go the way I thought it was going to in my head. I had drew, I drew something on the plain page and I didn't like it so I thought okay I'm going to collage over it to cover it up. So I collaged over it and got it covered up, found this, this picture of corks for the face. This is just one of those glue, glue dot things. These are craft sticks, you know like cocktail sticks. 
and then these two um, fingers that are pointing were in some kind of a stamp set I had. Then I doodled on, I took, I had doodled on some cardstock. Actually, it was on tissue paper, and I photocopied the tissue paper onto the cardstock, and then I cut. That these out with a, or did these with a punch so every most of these are all different doodles that came from a set that I did and then I just wrote in black magic marker the numbers for the um, the time on the clock this one took forever and I still don't I'm I'm still not really happy with the way it looks but the part I am happy about is it is done <laughs> all right this one is for the word tropical so I did tropical fruit. I collaged the sand. This is tea dyed paper with a little help from Tim Holt's uh, walnut stain, I think is what it is. Yeah, walnut stain. Then I went on um, Google uh, and did some tropical fruit clip art that I really liked of unusual fruit, although the bananas and the pineapple and the avocado are really... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> cut out fruit. I collaged the um, palm tree and these were these actually move. I cut them out and then cut little leaves out of uh, jelly printed paper and then took these scissors which it, wait what are they? It's so crazy. I rarely use these things you know when you cut them they cut. Aren't they cool? What a waste of money. <laughs> all right so that's tropical and I need to put my words there hmm. all right so let's see what's the next one. Oh, the next one is possible this has no rhyme or reason to it well actually it does I did everything in in um, oranges this is watercolor I did oranges and yellows and then I did one fl blue flower that it's possible to be different and still be wonderful so that was kind of my theme that I had in my head when I did this. All right, and so this one is the word quarter. So I qu cut the page in quarters, and then I just doodled stuff on it and shaded it, and that's basically it. it, it it's not black. It's not black. It's purple. I think I used a purple gel pen to do this with. My black gel pens kind of ran out of ink and I was waiting for Amazon to deliver new ones. So I used purple. It's not so bad. It's growing on me. And then the last one, I told you it was getting lame towards the end. <laughs> this one is embossing powder. I was testing different kinds of embossing powder. I rarely use my embossing powder. Um, so I did... Um, Let's see, this was gold pearl. This is a yellow, a pink, a peach, and a glitter gold, and a flat red. And then this is some kind of a glitter or flat green embossing powder. Then I tried, I did this with this homemade stamp out of, um, Fun foam. I think I got this from Carla at Caged Fish, and um, I had. She said use double side tape to to leave it on something. So I have double side tape underneath this, and then I did it on the uh, Versafine embossing stamper, and did it on here. And then I did the black. This is glossy black. I really like the glossy back black. I got a little sloppy with it, so you see little speckles all over it, but I like the way it looks. This one is the chunky black, and I did it with this one. This is one I made out of a uh, meat tray, styrofoam meat tray, and it's on here also with double stick tape. And then I took a... Uh, what did I use on this one? Oh, I used these things right here, the, these Martha Stewart styling tools. They do say Martha Stewart on here somewhere, don't they? Or I've worn, I've worn it out. Ooh, I think I've actually worn the name off of it. Anyway, these came from Martha Stewart. And um, then I just went on the meat foam tray and did a design on it, and then cut it out, and then stamped it in that VersaFine embossing stamp. 
put it on here and then just this chunky black gritty looking stuff i don't know where i got it from that was a booger because when i went to dry it all the little black particles went bing <laughs> i had stuff all over the desk it did emboss but it took two times to get it to stay on there and there's all kinds of little black speckles on this one but i had black embossing powder when i was holding the heat gun up black embossing powder is going <laughs> everywhere so it was a mess all right so there is my whole book as sad and pitiful as it looks of all the words prompts for the month of november remember these these flat ones still love them and stuff is starting to stick a little bit. Oh, poor thing, now she's got um, a silver eye. <laughs> so there's those, the baby rattles. Oh, is this going to come apart? Yep. There's a train for parallel. Then we have, uh, the word was body. And there is a lovely sea body. This was carved and stamped by my friend Peg Robinson. Then this is the uh, building, buildings, building. This one, I really like this one. I love doing this, Cut, drawing them, cutting them out, and then gluing them on there in different um, different rows. And they're, it, I'm a very tactile person. I like feeling it, because you can feel it kind of snag under your hand. I love the way that feels. This is a napkin I got from Carla at Cage Fish of the Elephants. Got more elephants from Carla, and they have quite enough to fill it in, but it worked out perfect. This is an apple, and I did this with a technique that um, I learned from Chelsea. I did it on deli paper, and cut the deli paper out, and boy, it was fun. I, I really, I really like the way this one turned out. Hide. This one was a challenge. I'm not good on perspectives drawing like that. That I'm that's a little a little dicey for me, but I do try. Smooth, another collage. News with all the different ways that news travels. This one is north. No, actually this this is news and then this is the word travel. Or maybe it is the word north. Let me look. I can't remember. North. It is the word north. Okay. So the compass is the north up that way. Then this is movement, and there's my little ballerinas. Then we have horn, and I did Texas longhorn. This one is depends, and it says my success depends on my determination to succeed. And again, I like feeling the bumps and the texture of stuff. This one is Breeze, and it's supposed to be one of those little fairies, you know, it blows in the wind and you're a little kid and you, you blow them and then you catch one and you make a wish. I kind of like it. It's growing on me. It's not horrible. This one is Bush. I did blueberry bushes. Then we have, uh, what's this one? I can't remember what the theme word is. Her. She flies with her own wings. I really like the cow. I really like this one. And then we're back to the last nine. Country, note, clock, tropical, possible, quarter, and then my last lame one was powder. You could tell I lost enthusiasm for the project because this one's got nothing going for it. But I have to say, it, it was a learning experience doing the whole 30 days. And I split the spine on a book for the first time. And now I'm going to have to learn how to fix it for the first time. <laughs> Thanks for coming to watch all the different um, flips through the last three weeks. I'm going to have a flip coming up soon for a um, Dilusions journal that I was gifted by Peg Robinson while we were in Myrtle Beach at the um, intervals of, well, it wasn't really intervals of sanity, but um, we did a, an art retreat in Myrtle Beach, 
and I we bought gifts for each other, and that was one of the things that I got from her. And I have gone crazy over this silly journal. I think I have done something in it every single day, and I love it. So I'm going to do a flip on that. Okay, enough blabbering. I will see you guys next time. Bye.